everyone so today I'm gonna show you how to make that uh, dubstep synth that you just heard it's kind of rusco like it's an older British type sounding dubstep synth um, and it's pretty easy to make so let's just start off the first thing you're gonna need to do is open a Thor patch and once you do that right click anywhere on that Thor patch and select initialize patch and that will bring up the init patch as it says right there uh, now, the first thing I want you guys to do is select one, two, and three. Make sure those are highlighted so that all of three of the oscillators are going to be running. Now, take your first analog oscillator and bring the octave down to zero. Open up a second analog oscillator and bring that one to that octave to one, and then open a third analog oscillator and bring this one to two. Uh, this the third one we're going to turn it to a square waveform from the sawtooth so go to this square waveform and select there and then go over here and we're going to bring the PW up to 64 so that it sounds like your classic square um, now let's go over to our filter let's make sure the frequency is all the way up let's go down to our mixer for these oscillators and let's bring it to the balances around 20 for the one to twos, we're getting more sound from the first oscillator than the second oscillator. And we're going to take our third oscillator and bring the level down to about 5.4 dB, anywhere around there, just so it's a little bit quieter. And go over to our amp envelope, bring the release all the way down, and bring our sustain all the way up. Now that's all you got to do for the actual synth. Um, the next thing we're going to do is EQ this up. So we are going to create an equalizer and uh, first select this low shelf and bring the gain down to about there to about uh, tw negative 12 uh, and then we're gonna select param 2 by clicking that and we're gonna bring the gain up to about 6 no we'll bring it up to about 5.1 and bring the frequency a bit up and then we're going to highlight our high shelf and bring up the gain to about 5.7 and bring the frequency up to about almost 8. Um, yeah, so that's what your EQ should look like. Next, right click on that on top of that guy and select D digital vocoder and make sure you switch it from vocoder to equalizer mode. That's very important or you won't get any sound. And I don't really like messing with the EQs in here. I don't think it sounds that good, but I do like to take the shift and bring it up a little bit. It kind of gives it this a more mechanical sound, and it's a little bit grainier. I want to bring that to a four-band EQ, though, and turn down that shift a bit. All right. Uh, and then the last thing we are going to add to the synth is an RV7 digital reverb. Now bring your dry wet down to about 20 and we're going to bring the size down to about 44 and the decay down to let's say 44 as well so it's really just adding this little bit of reverb behind it that doesn't stretch out too far which kind of makes the synth sound a little bit bigger um, so next we're going to add this synth right here would not sound that cool so we are going to add some distortion because it's all about the distortion in the synth so right click on that reverb and create your first of two Scream 4 distortions. Now for this first one, we're going to bring the damage down to about 38, and we are going to select the fuzz distortion. We're going to bring the first parameter, which is our tone, up to about 127 all the way up, and we are going to bring the second parameter, which is its presence, to, let's say, 2 by 95, now we're going to click this cut to make the EQ of this uh, distortion affect the sound. And we're going to bring our low up to 28. I mean, we've already taken out most of the lows in our EQ, but this is just still working on what the sound sounds like. And we're going to bring up the mids a bit to maybe about 5, just so they're a little bit boosted. We're going to select the body, and we're going to bring the body resonance to about 48. 
the scale we're going to have at 0 and the auto we are going to have at around 40 and we're going to select the type D for that sound. Now I'm going to I'm going to play you a clip of what it sounds like now uh, with just this distortion on. Um, it, it, the LFO, the wobbles that you're hearing, I'm going to explain how to do later, so don't worry about this, but this is what it sounds like with just this distortion. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the secondary distortion, which even makes it sound a little bit dirtier. So we're going to create on top of that distortion one more Scream 4 distortion. And this one we're going to take the damage down just a bit to about 58 or 56, 54, whatever. And we're going to switch the type to warp. And we are going to take the first parameter and bring it down to about 1 by 48. Or no, we'll bring it down to 1 by 40. And then the second parameter will leave. Now we're going to select the body. We're going to bring our resonance down to about 83. Uh, and then our scale, we're actually going to use as an LFO. And, well, we're going to use it the same way as an LFO. We're going to use it to make a wobble effect. So you leave your scale, however, and you're going to end up automating the scale to go up and down to make it sound like it's wobbling. And we're going to take the type, of, and we're going to bring this to C. Now this right here is the synth. A good thing to do to it would be to right click on it once again, go to your create menu, select create effect, uh, go to your dynamics menu, select bases, and select nastier base. So now you have the, now to use this synth, you're probably going to want to lay out a simple line like this. Uh, and that line does not sound like dubstep at all. It kind of just sounds like something with a little bit too much distortion on it. So you're probably wondering how you're going to make the wobbles happen. So what I do, which takes a bit longer, is I actually make the wobbles myself by just autom automating um, an envelope filter. So you're going to right click on your second. To do it like I would do, you would right click on your second, um, what is it called, uh, distortion. And you're going to go to your create menu and create one envelope controlled filter. Um, now you're going to be automating this frequency sort of like you also want to automate this scale and um, so leave those wherever the resonance you're going to want to bring up to about 40 or maybe a little less 36 uh, and now right click on frequency and select edit automation so now this means that when you're recording whenever you move this it's going to record what you do and uh, ultimately, you can go back in, see what you recorded, and edit it. So let me show you a bit of what it should look like. Here is what my frequencies look like. As you can see, they go up and down, kind of like squares. And so if you draw them out in the right ways, you're going to get the same exact wobble effect. That's exactly what LFOs do. It's just the LFOs are automatically creating those waveforms uh, affecting the frequency for you. So now I drew out the wobbles that I wanted for this synth line and then I also did that with the scale from the second uh, distortion which if I show you was this guy you also are going to want to click right click and select edit automation and then you create the same, put the same sort of wobbles with that, and it kind of gives it almost a vocal sound, like it goes wow, 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 wow. Uh, even more intense than just your normal wobble. Uh, so here's a, here's a clip of what it sounds like without the scale wobble. Okay, and now here's a clip of what it sounds like if you do add the scale. All right, so there you have it. That's how you make this dubstep synth. Now, there's probably one thing you might notice is missing, and that is bass.